The interest in truck mounted howitzers has grown in recent years. They provided a significant dynamism in artillery systems in the international market. Developed by Israel Saltum, the Atmos 2000 is one of the most important competitors in this field. This self propelled howitzer, shortly SPH, which will constitute the future artillery force of Israel, is also in demand in the international market. As a weapon detective, we're examining the Atmos 2000, which is one of the symbols of the changing Israeli military and its effect on this new market. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we start, and give us a thumbs up if you like our video. Taking its name from the abbreviation of Autonomous Truck Mounted Howitzer System, the Atmos 2000 was not actually developed for the Israel Defense Forces shortly IDF. Let's take a brief look at the origin story of this system. Israel searched for a new tracked SPH to replace the M109 and L33s dates back to the 1980s. Two different systems, called the Sholef and Rascal, were developed for this requirement. The Sholef was a 60-ton heavy vehicle with the same hull of the Merkava tank, while the Rascal was a 20-ton vehicle suitable for transport by the C-130. After trials, the IDF decided that modernizing the existing M109s was a more feasible option. An interesting development took place in France while Israel was working on its artillery corps. The Caesar of Nexter, first introduced in 1994, attracted the attention of modern armies to track-mounted howitzers. Sultan, today a part of Albit Systems, saw the new opportunity born in the international market with this development. The company decided to develop its own track-mounted howitzer as a private venture using the low-weight SPH development experience gained from the Rascal. The prototype of the system, called the 155mm self-propelled wheel gun, was revealed in 1999. The new SPH, the development process of which was completed in 2001, started to be marketed under the name the Atmos 2000. In those years, the IDF, which gave importance to track vehicles rather than wheeled ones, showed no interest in the Atmos 2000. But starting in 2010, the SPH succeeded in finding new customers, one after another. Even in 2017, Israel decided to replace its M109 door with the Atmos 2000. In simple terms, the Atmos 2000 consists of a 155mm howitzer mounted on a Tatra T815 VVN 6x6 truck. However, the real definition is not that simple. First of all, if we talk about the weapon, Albert Systems can integrate the 39, 45 or 52 caliber models of the 155mm gun to the system, depending on the demand of the user. Many people may ask why users would choose a shorter barrel gun while the 52 caliber has the advantage of long range. It should be noted that the basic logic of the track mounted howitzers is to mount the howitzer on the truck rather than tow it with the truck. It's not necessary to produce a new SPH from scratch to implement this simple logic. Thanks to its modular structure of the Atmos 2000, a country has the advantage of being able to integrate its old short barrel 155mm guns onto its new vehicle. This is a factor that reduces production costs. Besides, a solution emerges to minimize the logistics problem thanks to the compatibility of parts between the towed and self-propelled artillery systems of the army. At ADEX 2018, Albert Systems also introduced a model of this SPH equipped with a 130mm M46 gun. In recent years, many countries have designed their indigenous track-mounted howitzer. However, these are mostly manually operated SPHs due to the technological and industrial infrastructure levels of those countries. On the other hand, the Atmos 2000 
has an onboard advanced fire control system which consists of the main computer, navigation equipment and aiming device. The system processes the target information and displays this on a screen to the gunner. By the command of the gunner, the gun is laid automatically onto the target in traverse and elevation via hydraulic mechanism. The hydraulic power pack is also used for lowering and raising spades besides for loader assistance mechanism for projectiles and charges. In case of malfunction and damage, all these works can be executed manually. Thus, after receiving the position of the target from the artillery forward observation post, the SPH can rapidly engage the target with high accuracy. It can also be set in and out of action in a short time. The forward cap is armored. Many sources report that the Atmos 2000 is currently preferred by Azerbaijan, Botswana, Cameroon, Israel, the Philippines, Rwanda, Thailand, and Uganda. However, Cameron may have supplied the towed M71 howitzer instead of this SPH. As a weapon detective, we couldn't find any visual confirmation of the Azerbaijan and Cameron Army's Atmos 2000s in open sources. The crew of the Atmos 2000 is 6 person. The SPH is 9.5 meters long and 2.5 meters wide in road position. Its ground clearance is 0.4 meter. The empty weight is 18,000 kg while the combat weight is 21,000 kg. The 315 horsepower V12 diesel engine provides a maximum speed of 80 km per hour. The range of the vehicle is 1,000 km. The Atmos 2000 can negotiate 0.6 meter vertical steps, 0.9 meter trenches and can port to a depth of 1.4 meters. The range of the 155mm 52 caliber gun is 24,500 meters with M107 high explosive projectile, 30,000 meters with NATO L15 high explosive projectile, and 41,000 meters with extended range full bore base bleed projectile. The rate of fire is between 4 to 9 rounds per minute. The elevation of the gun is between 0 and 70 degrees. The barrel can be traversed 25 degrees on both sides. The Atmos 2000 carries 27 projectiles and charges on board. Now, let's look at how Atmos 2000 symbolizes the changing phase of the IDF. In our Eaton video, we had detailed the reasons why the IDF turned to wheeled vehicles instead of tracked ones. To avoid repeating ourselves, we will briefly talk about these reasons in this video. No longer expecting a large-scale life-or-death war with its neighbors, Israel finds it more feasible to use cheaper weapon systems to procure and operate. Transporting a track SPH from one region to another, such as the M109 Dower, requires a tank carrier vehicle. Otherwise, it consumes a lot of fuel, damages roads, and increases the risk of breakdown. Besides, the road speed of a track vehicle is relatively low. However, the track mounted howitzers can move quickly and smoothly on highways on their own. Their fuel consumption is also significantly less. They can work for a long time without malfunction. Also, thanks to the developing automotive technologies, the off road mobility of wheeled vehicles are close to the track ones. Preferred as a whole, the track offers easier maintenance and repair. Any track mechanic without special training can maintain the Atmos 2000 and repair any mechanical failures of it. Finding spare parts for a commercial truck with a widespread service network is both easier and less expensive than a track vehicle designed for a specific mission. In today's postmodern world, Israeli citizens also demand spending the national budget on social policies rather than the military. For this reason, the IDF has to have less expensive types of equipment without losing its power. In short, in the future, Israel will be using an SPH that has the same capabilities as the M109 Dower 
that operates more simply and cheaply. We briefly talked about what the Atmos 2000 means for the IDF. Let's take a look at what this SPH means for foreign markets. The Atmos 2000 battles with strong competitors in the 155mm track mounted howitzer market. It is possible to consider these competitors into two categories. The first category consists of French Caesar, Japanese Type 19 and Swedish Archer. They are the most expensive vehicles in this market due to the expensive labor force, manufacturers working with high profit margins and their high technologies. The Caesar is the most commercially successful SPH in this category. Currently, 8 countries have preferred the system and given order nearly 400 Caesars. Japan is the only user of the Type 19. However, the future potential of this SPH is high. The Archer is the most advanced SPH in this category. Although Sweden ordered 48 Archers, the system lost some important tenders due to its high cost. In the second category, some SPHs are relatively affordable but slightly behind the systems in the first category in terms of technology. For example, China is in the race with two different models named SH-1 and SH-15. The SH-15 has received large orders from Pakistan besides China. Myanmar and Pakistan have already procured considerable numbers of the SH-1. However, despite increasing Chinese influence on African countries in recent years, these SPHs have yet to achieve commercial success on this continent. Serbian Nora B-52 system is one of the strongest competitors in the market. Bangladesh, Cyprus, Kenya, Myanmar and Serbia are known users of this SPH. But the fact that China and Serbia are traditionally 152mm howitzer producers poses a question mark on the performance of the 155mm howitzers developed by these countries. Besides, the Chinese and Serbian SPHs are based on the local trucks that are not common worldwide. Among all these first and second category SPHs, the Atmos 2000 has a category on its own. The system offers advanced technological capabilities and low-cost advantages together. The Israeli 155mm howitzers have proven themselves in many battles. This provides a marketing advantage over its competitors. Also, the Tatra T815 VVN 6x6 truck has an extensive worldwide service network. Another advantage is that the Atmos 2000 is more compact in terms of weight and dimension than its competitors and it can be transported by an aircraft like the C-130. The only system that may compete with the Atmos 2000 for technological capability and low cost is the T-552 of South African Denel. Similar to its competitor, it is based on a truck of Tatra. However, the T-552 is significantly heavier than the Atmos 2000. The modular design of the Atmos 2000 is another key advantage. Depending on the customer's demand, Albert systems can easily change both the main weapon and the truck of the SPH. After joining the NATO, in the early 2000s, Romania decided to develop a local model of the Atmos 2000. This version, called the Atrom, was using the same 155mm Soltam gun on a locally developed Roman 26.360 DFAEG 6x6 truck. Yet, this artillery system never reached the mass production stage. Poland is currently working on a similar project. The new SPH, called the AHS Kirill, consists of the 155mm with a 52 caliber gun of the Atmos 2000 an armored cabin version of the Polish Yelks 663 6x6 truck and a locally developed Topaz artillery fire control system. The mass production of the AHS Kirill, which is still being tested, is expected to start in 2021. The skilled labor force in Africa, with its vast plains, is below Western standards. 
for the countries of this continent, a track-mounted howitzer that is simple to procure and operate will do much better than tracked SPHs. The heavy track SPHs are also not a viable option for a country with a large number of tropical islands such as the Philippines. They have a high risk of bogging down. Besides, the armed forces of Philippines requires light vehicles that can be easily transported from one island to another by aircraft or ship. Therefore, it is not surprising that the Atmos 2000 has achieved commercial success in these regions. Also, it will not a surprise that many other countries, which look for a high-tech but low-cost track-mounted howitzer, will become the Atmos 2000 users in the future. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you like our video.